IFS single phase control panels, setup, menu, and basic settings. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. The setup wizard, main screen and menu, counts in elapsed time meters or ETMs, timer settings, level settings, and alternation. If you want to skip to a particular section, check the progress bar or the video description for times. See our advanced settings video for level sensing, timed and demand dose, alarm options, and more. Setup Wizard. The first time you power up the IFS control panel, you will enter the Setup Wizard. The wizard walks you through the initial settings for quick and easy setup. After the Setup Wizard has been completed, you can always change your selections in the main menu later. We'll cover this in the main menu section. Turn the dial to highlight time dose or demand dose per your application needs. Press the dial to select your option. If selecting time dose, the timer setting options will be displayed. You can set them now or after the setup wizard. See the timer settings section for more details. Scroll to OK and press the dial to move to the next screen. Select float switch control or sea level sensor control. If selecting sea level sensor, the sea level units option will display. You can set them now or after the setup wizard. See advanced setting video for more details. Press OK. For the sea level sensor, you'll select your range, enter your level setting now or after the setup wizard. See level setting section for more details. Press OK. Review the panel configuration, press Confirm Settings, or press Back to make changes. You have now completed the Setup Wizard and are at the Main Screen. Main Screen and Menu We'll continue by taking an in-depth look at the Main Screen. The level bar graph represents the water depth and shows set point bars when using the sea level sensor. If using float switches for control, it will show float status indicators, which represent which floats are activated. The green circle with auto displayed is your pump HOA button. Select the circle and press the dial to use the HOA. The pump cycle counts, pump amps, and or pump hour meter is displayed below the HOA button. See the counts and ETM section for more details. The pump indicator is located above the HOA button. A blue ring means the pump is running, while a green outline indicates your lead pump in a duplex application. The upper left corner shows the pump on or off time for demand dose and timer countdown times for time dose. In the upper right hand corner, you will see the main menu icon. Select the menu icon and press the dial to enter the main menu. Select the menu you want or press back to return to the main screen. Counts and elapsed time meters. This screen displays your ETMs, cycles, and counts. To reset these values to zero, simply turn the dial to highlight what you want to change. Press the dial to select it, turn the dial to yes, and press it. Then confirm your selection. When complete, select back to return to the main menu. Timer settings. Select timer settings from the main menu. Simply turn the dial to highlight what you want to change. Press the dial to select it. Then turn the dial to scroll to your desired setting. Press the dial again to exit that setting. And when complete, scroll to the green check mark to confirm and save settings, or red X to exit without saving. Level settings. Select level settings from the main menu. This is only available for sea level sensor applications. First, we'll show the time dose scenario. Simply turn the dial to highlight what you want to change. Press the dial to select it, then turn the dial to scroll to your desired setting. Press the dial again to exit that setting. 
The alarm setting can be above or below the timer override setting for time dose. When complete, scroll to the green check mark to confirm and save settings or the red X to exit without saving. Now we'll show the demand dose scenario. Similar to time dose, the alarm setting can be above or below the lag setting for demand dose. Alternation. Select alternation from the main menu. This is only available in duplex applications. Simply turn the dial to highlight what you want to change, then press the dial to select it. When complete, select back to return to the main menu. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our advanced settings video for more information on these panels.